already have millions of coins on EAFC 24, but not everybody does. So today, I'm going to show you guys cards that you can buy on a low budget, medium budget, and high budget that are going to make you some easy coins. Welcome to Trading to Glory. If you're looking for cheap and safe EAFC 24 coins, look no further than U4GM.com and use my code ELITE, E-L-Y-Y-T, for 5% off at checkout. We also have our Weekend League rewards today, so I'm going to open them throughout the video, and if we pack a Trailblazers card or a card worth over 175 k I'm going to buy two of you guys the Trailblazers pack that costs 175,000 coins on the store. All you have to do is comment Trailblazers below and make sure you like the video. Can we do it in the first player pick? It's possible. Kyle Walker in the first player pack. He goes for 100,000 coins, not quite 175k, but we are off to a hot start. Of course, yesterday we got the Max 87 Hero upgrade. It was only a matter of time before it finally dropped, and it is now here. It's only one squad, requiring an 86 rated team, and what we've seen on that 86 rated fodder market is that these cards have spiked up, but not nearly as much as what you would expect from some sort of SBC like this, where everybody's going out and doing it. And the reason for that is because there are so many people that have this fodder in their club and on their transfer list still because 86s haven't gone up yet. And now they have finally risen to about 9,000 coins. If we take a look at Kim Little, you can see that even though they peaked at about 9k the other day at the release of Young Min's Son and those other SBCs, they rose all the way from 8K up to 9,000 coins, and that's what they're chilling at right about now, 9.2 thousand coins. But the difference right now is that all of the supply has been taken out of the game and thrown into this SBC. So the next time that we do get an SBC like this in the next couple of days, in which an 86 rated requirement would be needed for maybe a player SBC or whatever it might be, is going to make these cards go up even higher. And the only SBC to actually expire in the next few days is the Max 87 Hero upgrade. The rest of these guys like Rodrigo, Sun, Leao, uh, Sar, uh, not so much that one, but all of the other SBC are going to create a continual demand for these cards. So even if there's not any new huge SBCs, they should stay stable. And then once that next SBC drops, they go to the moon. But if you're on a low budget and don't want to use an investment yet, that makes sense. I've got a trading method that you can use as well. And it includes the filter of a chemistry style shadow card. Shadow cards right now are pretty much near extinct at 5,000 coins. So cards that already have the shadow applied to them have a lot more value right now. Vardy All is one example of several that you can use. Use. I prefer defenders between like the price range of like 5,000 coins and 20,000 coins. And so Gavardial is going to fit that example. And right now with a shadow card on him, he goes for about 5,800 pretty quickly. But you could probably sell for upwards of 6,000 coins and that card would still probably sell within the hour. But maybe list for 5,900 right now if you wanted him to sell right away. Of course that fluctuates throughout the day. But if you take off the shadow card from the chemistry style, and then you search for Gvardiol, you'll see that he goes for like 64 or 5,400 coins, pretty easily 5,300 coins right there. So a lot of people will actually list these cards with a shadow card on them for the price of the initial card. And sometimes these cards have a very big discrepancy between what they go for without a shadow and with a shadow. For example, Marco Llorente right now goes for about 5,800 coins, I believe. But once we add a shadow card to his card, you'll see that it boosts his card by over a thousand coins in price. And so some people will just list that card for 5,800 with a shadow card when realistically you can sell them on for over 7.1 thousand coins. I think that they'd probably sell for 7.2. They definitely do. 7.3, probably sell for 7.3 thousand coins during the hour. And so you can sit here and snipe these cards. One last suggestion that I have for you guys is make sure you do this sniping in the squad transfer market. You go to your squad, you go to the transfer market from there. Because if if you don't and you use the regular transfer market, it'll actually reset your filter every single time you search. It's been a glitch that's existed for more than a year. But if you search for a card with a uh, shadow chemistry style, you search and then you reset that filter. Unfortunately, that chemistry style goes back to any and you have to set that filter again. So that's a way around it. Time for the second player pick. Can we get something higher than 84 rated this time though? I mean, I'm not complaining about Kyle Walker, but 84 is kind of low. We get, okay, 86. Third player pick, the last chance for the player picks to give us a Trailblazers card. Come on, EA, 
hook me up. There it is! Girasi hooks you guys up in the comment section with two giveaways of the 175k pack. Girasi coming in clutch. I still have so many packs to open still too. We could get another one. Trailblazers can be lower budget, but it's definitely entering more into medium budget territory. These cards are very shaky to be investing in before they go out of pack. So we're looking at Thursday and Friday as picking up some of these cards. And I'd like you to consider these characteristics in your investments before you go in on a card that you think is just good. Like Griezmann, for example, I don't really love as an investment later this week because in my opinion, his play style on the new card isn't nearly as good as his finesse shot plus on his gold card alone. So other upgrades on Griezmann could be even better than this 89 rated card we see here in Trailblazers. So maybe I'd stay away from a card like that. Now, if we're looking at high budget, maybe Caroline Graham Hansen with the finesse shot plus could be something that's very unique for a long time and even if Hansen gets another upgrade that upgrade probably won't have the finesse shot plus so it makes it a decent investment out of packs but as we look at lower budget we can find cards like Di Lorenzo this card at 53,000 coins already looks decent, but when you consider the fact that he's the only Italian right back in the entire game right now other than uh, Zambrata that is even usable, and Zambrata's in a completely different price bracket, it makes him even better out of packs as there's no other options. People have to go with Di Lorenzo if they're going with a Serie A or Italian squad. Now, if you look at Serie A right backs, there is two other options, Kalulu and Dodo, but both of those cards are also rising in packs because they're road to the knockouts. And they're also more expensive. Di Lorenzo is the cheapest option still. And with that Italian link, it can definitely help him a little bit more. So when it comes down to the RTTKs, that's what we're going to talk about next. RTTKs like Dodo and like Kalulu have already been rising a lot and are continuing to go up. We're starting to see huge spikes. My Luka Modric, if I were to sell right now, I'd be making 100,000 coin profit but I'm not selling. I'm holding these cards even longer. And in fact, we've still got a week and a half of these cards rising in price. So if you have some coins at the ready, you could go medium budget, low budget, high budget on this. If you've got a medium budget, Sissoko for me, get him as close to 65K or below as possible. Great investment. Toulouse already have a win in their Europa League group. The downside is they play Liverpool in their next match, but it's still going to rise into the hype. You've got players like Lewandowski at a high budget, 467,000 coins right now, try to get for as close to 450. You might ask, well, why didn't we buy these cards last week? I don't know. I told you to buy them, but here we are. You don't have them yet, and they're still going to go higher. So even if you don't have them, you can buy them now, and they're going to continue to rise. That Lewandowski is going to be well above 500,000 coins. I'm going to guarantee it. 100% stamp over 100K by the time we get to his next game, probably before we get to his next game. So that's a card that you want to look at. Then we've got low budget, Alwar. How many times have I said his name in the last few episodes? Great investment. He was down at like 14. He's up to 16. I can see him getting to 20, no problem. So go ahead and try to pick up maybe a few Alwars. And guys, try to get them as low as possible. Go for bids, go for uh, snipes, stuff like that. You're in no rush, but they are going to steadily rise over the next couple of, of days and into the next week. So the longer you wait, realistically, I guess the less profit you will end up making. Time to rip some more rewards packs. Here's a 50K. CDM from Spain can't be, in, oh my God, it's Sergio Busquets. We didn't get a single 84 plus. So now I'm going to guarantee we get an 84 plus and hopefully it's not 84. German goalie. It's gotta be a women's player, has to be. Fromm's. 85 it so it really it statistically could have been worse all right we're sending it 85 plus times two i'm getting impatient give me kvart Skelia. i think he's only like 10k he's not in form anymore so team of the week investing is a very trustworthy method that works for a low budget to medium budget you can go for high budget cards but generally the low to medium budget will make you the most percentage of profit and obviously for this team of the week right here we've already seen a bit of a rise sterling going from 59 to 67 Aubameyang from 27 to 31 you've got cards like valverde from 740 to 790 coman from 140 to 153 so they're up a little bit already and i still i think there's still room to rise on some of these cards so i would hold 
hold until probably Monday night, Tuesday. Uh, you could even wait until later Tuesday and probably make some good coins. And then there's also SBC fodder here with Lukaku and Milinkovic Savic, who I would definitely sell by Tuesday because if they get replaced by other SBC fodder cards that are, that are 86 and 87 rated, then those cards will come down a little bit in price despite there being SBCs that need informs. So what we've got to look at is the next week's team of the week, which has not been necessarily leaked, but we do have some predictions on these cards. And there's one even hiding behind my face cam, which is Caicedo, who could actually be a very, very good investment on Friday night or Saturday if he does end up getting into the team. So in this squad, of course, you could look at cards like Cristiano Ronaldo and Haaland, but you're probably looking more so at cards like Berardi or Caicedo, those kind of cards that are going for about 20 to 60,000 coins. They are going to make you the most coins going in to the end of the weekend, as long as you can time their buy correctly on Friday night or Saturday in the morning. And for those of you guys that ask me what time zone I'm referring to, generally, I just speak in UK time zone because that's where most of my viewers are from. And you guys can just do the math on what that equates to you. Let's finish today's episode with the ultimate pack. Don't forget to comment trailblazers down below. Argentina. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh. Oh. The amount of motions that I just went through in like five seconds is unreal. That's gonna be it for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching to the end of the video. Do not forget to slap a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And you can go ahead and click on that video right there. It's a great video. You should click on it, watch that one. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.